Catholics and their leaders around the world are seeing the impact of what's being called the Pope Francis effect. St. Peter's Square is more packed than ever this morning for the Pope's weekly appearance. Priests say there is a surge of parishioners in the pews because of Francis's actions. There is also a new direction in the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, which just voted in its next president. Outgoing president Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York is with us, along with incoming president Joseph Kurtz, the Archbishop of Louisville. They are at the bishops' meeting in Baltimore. Good morning <laughs> to both of you. Good morning, Good morning, Charlie good and Nora. Morning, Nora. Well, good morning, Charlie. Good morning to New York. I'll be back with you tomorrow, Charles. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, oh, well, we welcome you back. But, so and, also, and we are blessed to have you, you here this morning. Cardinal Dolan, let me start with you. Do you think there is this Francis effect? Is the church changing because of Pope Francis? Oh, you bet there's a Francis effect, Nora. I see it all the time. I can't walk down the streets of our beloved New York without people coming up to me and saying, hey, thanks for, uh, thanks for Pope Francis. You, you guys did a good job. We love him. <laughs> and I hear from our parish priests who are always on the front line. They're telling me the crowds at Sunday Mass are up, the confession lines are longer, inquiries about the Catholic faith are more abundant, and even the collections are going out. Now that is good news. That's the Francis effect. So bring it on. In right. what order? In what order? Uh, Archbishop Kurtz, it's great to to see you. We've talked to uh, Cardinal Dolan before, and and congratulations on on this Thanks, challenge Charlie. that has been bestowed on you. What do you think? Tell me what the Thank Pope you. is really saying when he says, "I want you to warm hearts and heal wounds." And how do you carry that as a mandate from him? Yeah, great question, Charlie. Uh, basically, Char uh, Charlie, what is the Holy Father is saying is see the person first and accompany that person. Uh, the way we, we warm hearts and heal wounds is first by acknowledging the person in front of us. And hasn't our Holy Father done that? I mean, I think all the photographs and videos and YouTube and all the different ways in which people are seeing the Pope is that he's not just saying it, he is accompanying people. And uh, people are really are, uh, let's say, uh, taken by that because uh, we all want to be acknowledged, we want to be loved and to belong, and uh, there's a place in the church for everyone. And so it's a, it's a great message of the new evangelization. I'm I thrilled. Cardinal Dolan, I want to ask you about something the Pope has done recently. He recently sent out a survey, a questionnaire to the one billion Catholics around the world asking for their opinion on a host of issues including same-sex, contraception, uh, divorce. Why ask about these issues? I mean, isn't church doctrine already clear about this? It is. You're right, Nora. But what he's asking about is how can we present it better? How can we be more effective in our teaching? And how can we reach out with love and compassion to those who find it difficult to live up to church teaching? This is all, this is all in preparation of what we call the synod, which is every, every two or three years, representatives of the bishops of the world gather with the successor of St. Peter, the Bishop of Rome, the Pope. And this theme in October is marriage and family. Now, Pope Francis is shrewd. He said the people that know about marriage and family best are, guess who? Husbands and wives, mothers and fathers. So he said to the bishops, it's a wise idea to ask them uh, how the church can be more compelling in its beautiful, liberating teaching about, about married life and family. And it's, it's good to ask them how we can best reach those people who are having trouble accepting the timeless teaching of the, of the faith. He's a shrewd teacher himself, and I'm glad he's done this. Uh, do you think that your God sent this pope because he was concerned about his church? I'm, Charlie, I'm sorry. What was that again? <laughs> I said, do you think your God sent this pope because he was concerned about his church? Oh, I'd like to think so. I think you bet. God is always concerned about his church as he was concerned about the people of Israel who are our forefathers in the faith. Yeah, and I'd like to say every pope, Lord knows the ones I can remember with, with love and gratitude, uh, Paul VI, John Paul II, Benedict XVI, all of them are gifts. All of them are gifts from God as a sign to the church. So, yep, that's how I look at Pope Francis. And uh, Cardinal Wirtz, let me ask you, the Pope has said he'd like a greater role for women in the church, and that has sparked the idea that he could appoint a female cardinal. What would it be like for you guys to have a woman in the mix? Will it ever happen? 
Did, did she call you Cardinal Kurtz? You've well, already got it. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're, you're uh, ha, Nora, have, have, have you spoken to the Holy yeah. Father? Well, she, she, has, she has her sources. <laughs> well, well, certainly our Holy Father has... Uh, Okay, okay. Well, Nora, uh, our Holy Father has certainly made it clear that, that we need to expand uh, our uh, gratitude for and our awareness of the great gifts of women within the church. Now, how that's going to play out, we're still at the very early stages of it, but certainly there's going to be, I, I can't help but believe at the Synod, there's going to be a presence. Uh, I don't think there's been any structural changes mentioned now, but I think our Holy Father is intent. and and. God bless us because, uh, as you remember, maybe you, you, you don't recall that about 20 years ago, maybe a little longer, John Paul II had uh, a very beautiful letter on the dignity of women. Mm -hmm. And we need to the practice, and that's what Pope Francis is going to do. All right, Cardinal Dolan and Archbishop Kurtz, great to see both of you. Thank you for joining us.